Hey, what's up guys, and in this video I'll just be showing you how I, me, me, how I, how I make texture packs. So yeah, um, number one thing that you want to have is you want to have an editor thing. I'll be using Photoshop and Affinity Photo. For some of you guys who don't have Photoshop, I'll just be using Affinity Photo. And um, yeah, by the way, I'm doing this on a Mac, so mm -hmm. So, and um, you also want to know at least how to edit. So, number one thing, you want to get your Minecraft thing. Here, I'll just be editing a, an app, a, gold, an, or a golden apple. So, then I'll open it with Adobe, or, um, or I could just do this. Open it up, and then you just want to say new. And then you want to see here, and then I'll do 150 by 150, create it. Then you want to go here open and then you want to it's your desktop your apple golden apple and boom there it is and it and, um, and it's open and now now what you want to do let me just rotate it and I'm gonna rotate so this is that so now so it's just lagging a lot Okay, so as you can see, now I'm going to all use my quick selection tool to grab all that. And for, um, for some people, like, see, I'm um, saying you just want to use magic wand. Here. You just keep selecting and it won't work, right? Well, for stuff like this, you're just going to want to use quick selection. You select the middle, it will not select the outline. Or you could just select that to do that. But I me, mean, I'm not. So I'm just going to, so let's see, actually, I do that. You want to press magic tool, like, Quick selection, but I'm not really that good at this, so sorry if I talk a lot. Okay, and now, um, you just want to open your pencil and paint it whatever you want. I'll do the, this part a darker blue or a dark blue. So, um, and, uh, and since since you just did the um quick selection, and by the way, you don't really have to, but um, since I did, I can't go outside a lot, so. I'm very, very good at going off of the lines. So, 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 um, so you just want to mess up, just call me. I'll mess up for you. <laughs> That's my best one, still mess up. So yeah, and yeah, um, by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm not a good artist at all. So yeah. And, um, and uh, now I'll, um, I'll just make this part um, uh, blue like that. And um, yeah, and say, say you just want to, like, eh, I want to edit that. Then just go. And you're done. And um, hmm. See, so, um, yeah, so you just uh, you just want to um, color the outline. Then you could just redo this. Do the outline. So you just select the outlines. Then, as you can see, I've perfectly gotten the outline. So I'm now um, see, I want the I want it to be green. As you can see, I I keep going out inside. But, um, I'll just do that. Easy peasy. And then um, now, um, I'll, I'll just put a darker color for that. And then I'm just gonna go a bit darker. Put some, like, right here. A bit brighter. Put one here. And let me just do this side a bit darker. So it actually looks like a shadow kind of thing. There. All done. And, we, and uh, as you can see, this is the golden apple. So I'm all, um, I'll just export. Quick export as PNG. Then I'll just do two. Save it. There you go. Then you can just exit. You don't have to save it. And there it is. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, well, um, as you can see, it's already zoomed in for you. I don't exactly love it. I love this, but you know, it'll work. So um, mm -hmm. now um, as uh, as you can see, this also has um, a magic wand, so I could um, or I can um, easily select stuff. So boom. And um, by the way, for this one, you choose you select that, and um, mm -hmm. so I want the same thing here. I could just do this, but. The the main thing that I hate about Affinity Photo is how it does that. 
know what I mean. You know, like how you have to keep doing it. Like, the way I would really recommend you make it like bigger so that you could just do that. There it is. Now, for, let me just do this part. Hmm. Go back here. Hmm. And say, I'm say I want it to be a uh, very light blue. I'll just do that. There we are. All done. Now, hmm. say, uh, say I just want the inside to be even brighter or even more different. Hmm. See, I want super duper bright in there. And then, it's too bluish. Still too bluish. I'll just leave that as white. Now, I'm um, say I say you just want to change, or say you just want to change the outline. Then you just do that. By the way, if if you like, just like just um just keep your um thing on it like that. Um, slide select is W. Then paintbrush is B. So I'll just do this B, and then um, I'll just make the outline. And I'll make it green too. Oops. So just keep doing that. As you can see, I'm just really, just instantly swapping. You're done. Now, as you can see, it doesn't really look that good, so I'll just select that. Or you could just change it, and boom. So yeah, on um, me, I would really recommend you use um um Affinity Photo. No offense, but Affinity Photo is like easier to edit on this kind of stuff. I mean, Photoshop is better to edit this kind of stuff. Like, look, hmm. edit, and then you can just export it, and then here. Export now. Um, if, uh, if I just do it for that, I'll just make that two. Well, I'll make it three. Boom, you're done. And exit. Don't save. So it look. Hmm. So do, um, just tell me, guys. Comment in the description below. Um, if uh, if you're just watching this, and just um, just comment in the description below. T just tell me which is better. Say two for say two, if you like Photoshop, or three if you like a Affinity Photo. So yeah, I would love if you guys could see that, and I'm here. Mm -hmm. Next, next up, I'll be, I'll just, um, I'll be doing, um, hmm, I'll be doing a blaze rod, okay? Here's a, or you know what, hmm. some, um, some of you guys probably are wondering how, how to, or how you do this. Like, um, hmm. I'll, number one, I'll start off with Photoshop, so you just want to zoom in. Sorry, it's really laggy because I'm recording. So, number one thing, so you guys might want to know, how do I like make it a photo? Is probably what some of you guys are wondering. Well, I'll just be showing you that. So, I'll just grab this. You always want to. Sometimes you just want to make this outline just like that. There you go, and now I'll just rotate it a little bit, okay there, now, if I could just grab the quick select tool, here, as you can see, it has done the middle, now, if, say, say I just want to like, um, just do like, um, blue and white, blue, okay, blue, and um, hmm. See, see, I just want this. Or no, I want this. No, I want, no, eh, eh, eh. Here, I want this. Here, I'll just put it here. I'll paste it. Okay, as you can see, then you'll want to press the layer. If you're using Photoshop and press layer, then press create clipping mask. And then, boom, you're done. Oh, it'll look like that. By the way, if, if you're wondering why, why I just color the background. And so, as you can see, I use quick select. I select in the middle. So um, what I just want to do is just want to stuff in there, okay? And by the way, I colored the background, but that black so that like it wouldn't really, yeah. So 
so doom and if I make that say you just say you don't want it all to be like that you just select it copy it paste it select this part boom delete it and then you go back go right here copy it and then you go back paste and then as you can see it doesn't work and then you just select it and it won't work. they just take it out put it back in boom and now as you can see it's, it doesn't, it's not there then create quick mask and boom See, and then if you want to just change what, what it looks like, you can just do that, like, just like that. They could do, like, half that. I don't know. Yeah, this is all I know about it. And, um, and then, um, hmm. Then, yeah, that's, by the way, um, so I'll just file, export, click export. I'll do two. Two is Photoshop, three is a Trinity. And, um, hmm. Here is Photoshop or um Affinity Photo and I'm now so wait again for this one it's a bit different now uh, let me just do this L1 and just do the background and now um yeah it's drawn on the inside. This one is much different. So, paste, and then if you do layer, as you can see, it doesn't show. So, um, as you see, as you can see, what you want to do is you can either like do something like this, but yeah. Or another thing that you could do is zoom out, make it smaller. Drag it in, make it even smaller, boom, there we are, and so now I just still want to make it a bit smaller, there we go, and boom, but yeah, um, this is much harder than it looks to do, um, so I'll just do this, like that, you just want to make sure that you go to outlines a little bit. I think I don't know. So then, some people do overlay, overlay, which will do that. Or you could do pin light. Or, yeah, but um, if uh, if you guys actually like know know how to do this with a painted photo, please beg of you tell me. How you did it. But yeah, three is a painted photo. But me and my suggestion, suggestion, I much more would recommend Photoshop, Adobe's Photoshop. So you could just like um just uh just um look up how to install Photoshop on Mac or on anything else. But yeah, I'm using a Mac, so um mm -hmm. then yeah um I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe. I love, love if you guys could subscribe. Maybe even like the video. That'd be even more amazing. Hit the dislike button if you want. I don't care. Um, please don't put any bad comments or yeah. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Da, 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 da.